Welcome to another Cadjucation AutoCAD 2011 quick tip. This time we're going to be looking at the layer tools and isolate in AutoCAD 2011. Okay, so let's look at these layer tools available to us in AutoCAD 2011. What we've got here is a simple little sort of room type house layout and we've got various objects on various layers. We've got a window construction there and that is on the layer windows. We have hatching, that's on the layer hatch. We have green walls there and they're on the layer walls. And we've also got some doors here which are on the layer doors. So we've got different layers there and if we look at the layer pull down you can see there's the layers in our layer pull down on the layers panel there on the ribbon. Let's have a look now at these two icons here, isolate and unisolate. Now these are global isolate settings. So if I go to isolate and select, let's say, one of the objects there that makes up a window, I then right click and confirm that by clicking on enter. It isolates all of the objects on the windows layer. Notice when I hover over these objects, See that little icon appear by the crosshair? It's telling me that those layers are actually isolated right now. So I can't work on those, but I can work on these on the window. So I could zoom in perhaps and click on that polyline there that makes up one of the window mullions. I'll hit escape there just to deselect. Now, how do I unisolate? Well, I go here, click on unisolate, and as you can see, the objects are highlighted again, and I can now select them by hovering over them like that. So that's a global isolate based on an object selection. What about an individual object that I might want to work on? I can do that here by zooming in. Let's have a look at this front door here. Going to select that object, that object, and that object. Also the door itself there. So all those objects there. If I right click now and go to isolate there and isolate objects, that isolates that one object makes my life a lot easier because I can work on that straight away, as you can see. So I might just want to hatch, for example, those two little objects there. So I'm on the layer hatch. I go to hatch. Hatch, notice in 2011, is all on the ribbon. There's no dialog box anymore. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a hatch pattern, like so. So when I click there, I want a solid fill. And I'm just going to click in there. Notice it highlights and I'm going to click in there. Notice it highlights. Right click, enter, job done. And then to de-isolate now, I select all of these objects here, right click, isolate, and I want to end the object isolation. Brings everything back and you can see my highlighted door frame there with the red with the hatch. So if I just double click on the wheel there to do a zoom extents, that's how your layer tools work in AutoCAD 2011. Very useful. You can isolate globally by selecting an object and it will isolate everything on that object layer. Or you can isolate individually by selecting objects and then right clicking and selecting isolate. Thank you for watching this Cadjucation AutoCAD 2011 quick tip. You've been watching Cadjucation TV. Thank you.